Hi, welcome everybody. I'm Chris Baer, Vice President of Growth for the US with EXP, and I'm here with an amazing mega couple, and I'm so excited to have them on the show today. Trust me, you want to stick around and hear what they're going to say right out of Orlando, Florida. So guys, how are you today? Hi, we're doing great. How are you, Chris? Doing absolutely phenomenal. So we got uh, Hasway and Rebecca Soto. Thank you so much for being on the show today and um, and taking your time. I know you guys are busy. Now, Rebecca, you were telling me that you're doing a boot camp right now. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yes, we're sir. running a boot camp with, I think there's about 25 of our agents right now. And uh, most of them very new and Spanish speakers. So we've been focusing on uh, giving them classes in Spanish. That is awesome. And you guys are also mentors here at eXp, which means that you actually take on new agents and you hold their hand and teach them the business and walk them through transactions, right? Yeah, that's correct. Well, thank you so much for doing that. Um, there's such a need for uh, experienced agents like yourselves to help the agents getting into the industry. It's something I think that's really lacked in this industry for so many years and why so many new agents don't make it. And it's because they don't have the guidance. They don't have the leadership and the mentoring. So thank you for doing that. So let's get started about uh, finding out a little bit more about you guys. So typically we find that uh, uh, top real estate agents or any real estate agents get into the business because of something that's happened, a life event or something that changed and they find themselves selling homes. So how did you guys get into the real estate business? Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, it was back in 2006. Um, Rebecca had approached me actually early, late 2005, 2006. Rebecca had asked me, hey, you know what? I think that uh, the career that you're in, I mean, I think you deserve to do something better. You're really knowledgeable and you're a people's person. You know, I think that you'll do great in real estate. So I thought about it like two days and I, I came back and I said, well, listen, I got vacation coming up, but the only way I'll do this, this class is if you do it with me. So we both decided, uh, we took that one week course and um, we did the class, the real estate class, we passed. And in January of 2006, we became real estate agents in the state of Florida. Wow, so a week class. Yeah. And then you became real estate agents. Yeah. And now you're helping people make the, you know, probably one of the largest transactions of their life. Right. Absolutely. So how did that go? Where, where did you go? What kind of um, uh, support did you get during that time? What did you learn during that time? So coming into the industry, we started off with a friend of ours that had her own independent brokerage. And um, I don't know if we lost connection, but she had her own independent brokerage and, um, she told us that she would hold her hands through the first five transactions and she did exactly that she definitely was there for us uh every single last call you know new agents in the beginning have a lot of questions to ask and she was certainly instrumental for us um but as we continued to grow and and saw that there was probably some room for us to spread our wings about four years in we decided to open up our own brokerage wow. so we went from being uh, agents for an independent brokerage, and then we went and opened up our own independent brokerage. That was in about 2010. Now, that's awesome, and that's a career path, you know, I see most business-minded agents do, right? Mm -hmm. Is work for a broker, and that's what I did, right? And then go, well, wait a minute, I can do that too, right? <laughs> and, I, and I can own the brokerage. Um, so talk about that a little bit though. How, how did that work out and what successes did you have when you, uh, when you went to being your own brokerage? I think immediately we, we had, um, a few accounts, REOs, and we did well with that uh, for a time, but you know, the economy had taken a big hit and, mm -hmm. uh, it, it quickly changed for us from REOs to short sales. And, um, and the redundancy of that market, <laughs> it, was, it was definitely had its challenges. But I think for me, I found that we were working really hard, spinning our wheels. And we, we didn't have, I think, all the preparation that we needed to be able to scale that company. So when we thought about, you know, what is our business plan and, um, you know, where are we going from here? If, really just felt like we were on a hamster wheel. We were just working, 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 working. And the minute we stopped 
it will come stop. <laughs> so we're, I, I remember sitting back and saying, Josh, we have to do something different. <laughs> yeah, that went on for two, the last two years, Chris. And, uh, wow. and I would always, you know, she's my business partner. She's my wife, so I respected her, you know, her decision. And I just felt that, you know, after interviewing with several other brokerages, we just, I just didn't feel that we fit in, you understand? And, uh, it wasn't they weren't offering anything that yeah. I felt was going to help us to scale uh, bigger. And I felt like we were certainly paying a lot of franchise fees or a lot of fees, 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 fees. But I didn't see how that was coming back, how that was going to build us. Mm -hmm. So we never went with any of the other um, big, big uh, box offices because we just we couldn't. That model didn't seem to work for us. <laughs> yeah. and, I got you. So, so you guys are successful now. You're, you're broker owners, you're, you're doing your thing. You're, you're lighting up the market there in Orlando, Florida. Right. And, um, your culture is phenomenal. And what's missing though. What, what was missing that made you start exploring and then having a partnership now with EXP. So being an independent brokerage, I felt like we lacked a lot of support. We didn't know who we could go to when we needed help. There really wasn't anyone. Um, and even for people who were well-intended to say, you know, you can always count on us once or twice, but they're not going to be there to see you through anything. So it still wasn't enough. I needed more support. I wanted better education. And short of spending a lot of money in, in coaching, and we did that too. And sometimes I felt like we spent some money in the wrong directions. I just thought we need to align ourselves with a company that is going to take us from here to the next 20 years that's going to help us with technology that's going to help us with staying on the cutting edge of education and everything else and um and honestly we we always loved the model with exp when we first heard about it you know it was a little hard to let go of uh, independent brokers we worked so hard you know over nine years to to uh, to build that but um but the truth is the model with exp was exciting and uh and of course joining with some of our partners here in orlando florida locally that that opportunity we just didn't let that fly by yeah and it came down to, wow and it came down to um like rebecca mentioned chris it was uh scaling our business man it came to the point that you know we were doing phenomenally great with top producers our business doing but it came to that point that we plateaued you know and um we, we were looking at our numbers for the past two years prior to moving to exp and i'm like Okay, how am I going to get over this? You know, I felt like every time we had, we took one step forward, it was like nine steps. You know, I mean it on the business level. I don't mean it in production wise. You know, and um, man, when this opportunity came about, man, I, I mean it was it was a no brainer for us. We're like, yeah, we're in. That's awesome. So let's talk about now here at EXP. How's your business? How's your team? What's happening? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Well, um, like Rebecca mentioned earlier in the interview that we only had like a small team. It was like only four of us with Equity One. And right now we have close to 20 team members on the Soto Legacy Group. We have uh, 60, over 60 partners right now. 60 partners in our organization. In our organization. Um, we just hit Icon, which uh, congratulations to that. Uh, we just hit Icon. Awesome, and you guys, congrats. And we're just looking, honestly, it's been phenomenal to just be in partners, you know, be in partnership with some of these uh, high influencers, mentors, and great friends that we know in our own backyard and even throughout the nation and uh, like yourself also. And just to be able to rely and lean on each other and see where we can help each other out, whatever it is, you know, and just to know that I can pick up the phone or just reach out to, to you and just ask you a question if I need something. And, I mean, connect with so many, connect with so top, many producers, top producers yeah. also. Man. Been phenomenal. That's, that's phenomenal. I want to make sure that we um, let everyone know who's watching what an icon agent is, because not everybody's with EXP. But an icon award is for our top producers here at EXP. And it's so much more than just a trophy or a piece of clothing, right? It's something that can build your future. And this is where we award our agent $16,000 in stock, which our stock is publicly traded on the NASDAQ, the indicator is EXPI. Who's been excited about our stock here lately? I mean, it's right. I mean, it's crazy. You know, I, I look at it and it's, uh, it's good times right now. So everything seems to really be working great for you guys. So what I want to uh, end this show with 
is uh, to ask you, um, was there something, I don't know if you guys hear that feedback, I'm getting the feedback, but it should be okay. Was there something um, in, your, uh, in your career uh, that happened? And maybe it was something that you learned, maybe it was something you were taught, or maybe it was something someone said to you that really helped you uh, maybe get through an obstacle or a hurdle, or maybe you were just about to give up on something. I think there's someone watching today that might be at that point thinking, is real estate for me or not? Is this what I'm going to do? I, I can't seem to, to perform at this higher level. I need help. Can you say something to someone out there today that might be feeling that way that's helped you become a top producer in your market? Well, I think um, on my end, um, I guess staying consistent, right? And in the beginning, it, like anything else, it's always going to be a challenge. Well, this is this when it was a new career, um, we had to learn so many different things. You had to to learn IT. You had to to learn uh, how to be a, how to market yourself, how to be a salesperson, and and all these new things to learn. And of course, how to work with people, right? And it's all about the relationships. And I think that can be intimidating in the beginning. Uh, especially if you're not necessarily a super outgoing person, right? So between my husband and I, Josh has always been the super outgoing person. He talked to the walls, and I was always that shy person in the shadows. And so it was it was a challenge for me in the beginning because I, I was it was it was a struggle for me just to even introduce myself. Like networking events, I was sweating. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I have to talk to people. <laughs> It was, I don't know why it was it was intimidating but of course um, watching him how he interacted with people kind of helped for for that to open the door for me and be able to get more comfortable he would always always include me and introduce me to people so that always helped so I would say if you don't have a partner in the industry is just connect with somebody who has those qualities that you want to emulate right that that is already where you want to be. And then just kind of look up to that and just kind of model what they're doing, right? Don't reinvent the wheel. Just model what they're doing and be consistent because you're not going to be good at it in the beginning. I wasn't. And it took a lot of work for me to open up. And even for doing videos, like I, I couldn't stand doing videos, but I would see people that were so comfortable. And I was like, man, I want to be so comfortable. Like that person just shares online. And, uh, and, and now I just said, you know what? If I'm, if I'm going to do this, I'm just going to have to go ahead and do it even if I'm afraid, right? Even if I have a conscious about all my little flaws that I see. And the truth is now people come up to me like, oh, my gosh, you're so good at video. And I'm like, are you crazy? <laughs> you no idea where that came from. So, you know, it's a work in progress, and there's only one way to get there. You just got to do it. Take action. I love it. Just do it. Take action. Well, that's it, guys. You just heard from the Sotos here in Orlando, Florida. Um, just a top team. And we are so thankful for you here at EXP and all that you guys give back and the passion that you have to help other agents succeed. Thank you so much for being on the show today. And everybody that's watching next Tuesday, we'll be interviewing another mega agent. So make sure you tune in at two o'clock. Have a great day, Thanks. guys. Bye. Take care. Bye. <laughs>